Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. Today I'm going to be doing a one brand makeup tutorial and the brand that we're going to be using today is e.l.f. So I don't really have that many things from e.l.f. So I had to go to the store and I got a bunch of stuff from e.l.f. And I'm so excited to try everything out. Um, I've never tried any of these items before so it's also a very honest review. And yeah, let's just get right into this video. So I look very orange compared to my face but that's just because I'm very pale in my face. And I did my self tan last night so yeah, you could see what I'm talking about. I'm so excited for this video and I hope this makeup turns out good because I actually have to go out today and film for my couple channel so let's hope that this makeup goes good <laughs> all right so i have all the products laid out in front of me i'm going to go ahead and start with the primer i'm going to be using the elf poreless face primer it's like baby pink look at that packaging for how cheap it is they really do a good job with their packaging so taking a little bit of this Ooh, this feels so good on my skin it smells like eucalyptus oh my gosh i like this a lot um, I'm going to go ahead and put some on my eyelids as eyeshadow primer. It's very similar to the Porefessional. It feels just like this. Like, this is a dupe for that, I think, honestly. I feel no difference. And I still have some left over on my hand, so a little goes a long way. I'm just going to go ahead and put this on my neck. Now I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation, and I got the shade Vanilla. And this is light with golden undertones. I think that's kind of me right now. Not sure. Ooh, I love that it has a pump applicator. That's really nice because a lot of companies don't do that. All right, so taking some on my finger, I'm gonna start with my cheek. Taking my sponge. I didn't get the e.l.f. sponge because they didn't have it in stock when I went, but I'm sure they work just the same. Okay, so this foundation claims to be a satin foundation, but it's feeling more like a matte foundation, um, which I'm used to, so it's not a problem for me, but I just want to let you guys know that it does feel like a matte foundation when it's on the skin. I would not say it's full coverage. I think it's more of a medium coverage because as you can see, you can kind of see like my acne scars through the foundation, which is fine if you don't like full coverage foundations, but I personally like full coverage. All right, so here's my foundation all done. It looks pretty good. All right, so taking my e.l.f. makeup remover cleansing cloths, I'm just gonna be wiping the makeup off the back of my hand. And I'm gonna see how these makeup wipes work. If these are a cheaper alternative to my Neutrogena ones, I'm definitely gonna switch over to these e.l.f. ones because the Neutrogena ones are expensive. Alright, so moving on to concealer. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I got the shade medium sand. Ooh, I love the applicator. The applicator is big so it's going to hold a lot of product which I love. And we're going to go ahead and apply this under my eyes. Okay, let's see how this blends. I don't like how you can see my bags right here. It's creasing really bad. Oh no, I don't like this. Maybe just because my eyes are so baggy and poofy, but we're not liking this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my forehead, bridge of my nose, my chin. We'll see how it blends in those areas. Okay. So I do like it for the rest of my face, I just don't like it for my under eyes. I mean, it's not horrible, but I do like the Tarte Shape Tape better than the e.l.f. Alright, so now that that's done, it's time to set my face. But first, I gotta get the foundation off my lips. I'm looking a little bit crazy. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Smooth and Set Eye Powder. See how this sets. Ooh. That's it? There's just this little thing? Oh my god. Alright, taking some on the back of my hand. All right, so the under eye powder is on. Now I need my actual setting powder and I'm using the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. Okay, so the setting powder for the under eye was really good. Well, let's see if this is just as good. I do use a lot of powder, so hopefully this doesn't get too cakey. All right guys, so my face 
is fully set. Does not feel tacky at all. Feels pretty good. Um, yeah, I'd rate this powder an 8 out of 10. Hopefully this can handle being in my purse because I've had a lot of powders in the past that break and they shatter every time I put them in my purse. So hopefully this packaging is good and doesn't make the powder break because my last powder, which was this one, Makeup Forever, um, it shattered in my purse. I think the packaging was just too thin, but this feels pretty good. Hopefully it stays all in one piece in my purse. All right, so moving on to eyeshadow. I thought this was so cute, so I had to pick this up instead of like the full on eyeshadow palette. This is the Best Friend Eyeshadow Duo in Peach Squad. It's pretty small, but it's only two eyeshadows, so what do you expect? I'm using the peach side. Ooh, that's pigmented, okay. All right, so I'm looking really peachy today. Um, let's go ahead and do my lower lash line. All right, so I'm packing on the gold as much as I can. All right, so moving on to the brows, I'm gonna be using the brow pencil in neutral brown. Here she is, ooh, cute packaging again. Start by brushing out my eyebrows. This one already looks done. Like this one is just a good eyebrow. This one is bad. Wow, it actually looks really nice. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I kind of like this better than the brow is. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna move on to contour and I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. contour palette in the shade light medium. Taking the darkest shade. Obviously I'm gonna blend it out, but it looks pretty pigmented. Okay, it's forgiving. Look at that. All right, so moving on to blush. I did end up getting the e.l.f. baked highlighter and blush in rose gold. You guys know I love rose gold. Ooh, look how pretty that is. I'm taking the blush and putting that on the apples of my cheeks. Girl, what is, nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. Okay, you can't even tell I have blush on, so that's bad. Let me try to <laughs> work it a little bit more. Okay, yeah, no. So apparently I'm not going to wear blush today because this is not pigmented whatsoever. But I'm going to be trying the highlighting shade. Let's see how this works. Come on, work for me. Okay, wait, I see some pigment. Okay, not too bad, look. Whew, I thought it was going to be a waste of money, but it's not. Um, I'm just going to be taking some Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. Wow, this is actually such a pretty highlighter. I just wish that this blush was not here and that it was just a full-on highlighter because the highlighter is amazing. And it blends super easily. Love! Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's see how this looks in the inner corner. Ooh. Let's take it under the brow. Wow, you guys, this is good. I'm shook, if you can't tell. I'm gonna be going in with the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. Um, this is in the shade Charcoal, and I'm gonna zoom you guys in. You know the drill. Look at that nice line it makes, wow. All right, so that's my wing for today. I'm not gonna complain about it. Not gonna mess with it. It's not the greatest I've ever done, but it's a wing. All right, you guys, so the eyeliner is done, and now it's time to move on to mascara. And I grabbed the e.l.f. Volumizing and Defining Mascara in Jet Black. So the directions of this mascara say, apply to eyelashes from root to tip, working in a zigzag motion to fully coat the lashes. So root to tip and zigzag motion, let's do this. Okay, it's looking really nice. It's not clumping at all, and it is separating them very nicely. I don't have any clumps. There we go. So far, I am liking that, and let's do my lower lashes real quick. I don't like to do too much on my lower lashes, just because 
I feel like it weighs down my eyes. All right, so mascara is done. Let me move on to my clear brow and lash mascara. I saw it and I was like, oh my God, if this works as a brow gel, I will be in love. Looks like this. Has the mascara on one side and the brow on the other side. I'm just gonna use this as a clear brow gel. Yeah, that's what I got this for, to use as a clear brow gel. So hopefully that works. Um, now I'm gonna move on to lips. And I got the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. I got this in the shade Mocha Twist. And so it says this sheer gloss helps plump the lips with nourishing hydration. And it has a high shine formula providing a soothing sensation when it volumizes. Ooh, it has vitamin E and coconut oil. Okay, it says it's sheer, but I don't think so. I think it has a really good color to it. Oh, I feel the tingling. It's not sticky, but it does feel a little bit thick. What's up, princess? I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this look? It looks good. It looks good? It looks nice and natural and glowy and glossy and pretty. I used one brand. Use one brand. Yeah, I you... used all Elf. Use Elf. Mhm. Mm and they're cheap. It looks just like how you normally do your makeup. Right. How does it feel though? Is the question. It feels good. My lip gloss is tingling though because it's lip plumping. Is it soothing? Mm -mm, it's tingling. Mm -hmm. You wanna try it? I'm good. <laughs> Will you try it, please, for the video? Okay, he said he's gonna try it. I want you to tell me if it feels soothing or tingling, like right. bad. I'll let you know. It's really thick. Yeah, that's what I said. If it doesn't feel tingly yet, how long does that take to like? Like two minutes. Two minutes. So just stay with me for my outro. No, this video is not sponsored. I bought everything with my own money. Just wanted to point that out. And yeah, I'll see you guys next Monday. How's it feeling? Oh, it's starting to tingle now. Is it actually? It's it's like a light, like little mm, tingle, you know what but I mean? But you feel it. Yeah. It kind of feels like I have chap lips. Yes! Right? And I don't like that. It kind of feels like you have sunburned lips. And look at this highlighter. It was like $3. That's not bad. That's more like a natural one though. Yeah, this looks good. This is actually really good. All e.l.f.? All e.l.f. Hmm. And I got e.l.f. makeup remover wipes. So and e.l.f. Got... elf is like really cheap too, right? Yeah, I was awesome. so surprised of how good this look turned out. Even the foundation. Uh oh, maybe you start going to the drugstore. Oh, my switch? goodness. I think. I really like this. I'm going to do more of these videos too. It's hurting, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I just want you to know what I'm feeling. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you for being featured in my video. <laughs> you are so welcome. Um, you want to do the outro with me? Sure. Let's okay. do it. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yes. if you subscribe to us on our channel, we will see you there on Tuesdays and Fridays. And if mm -hmm. you're subscribed only to my channel, you should definitely subscribe to our couple channel, but yeah. I'll see you guys on next Monday. <laughs> so. On next Monday. So if you guys did enjoy this video and this makeup look with this um, budget NARS, oh well, <laughs> <laughs> budget elf makeup look, hit that like down below. It helps show you some part. Aww, She's working on you. this, okay? She's working on our channel, so I give am. her some love. I am trying to work on my channel. I love you guys, and I'll see you next Monday. Mwah. Mwah.